Good afternoon. In this video, I'm going to address a, a problem I see developing uh, uh, among those who believe in a pre-tribulational action. Now, I believe in a pre-tribulational action, but the fact of the matter is, there are many who believe in pre-tribulational action who are going to the Gospels to defend it and finding verses in there uh, to use as a proof text for the action, pre-tribulational action. But the reality is, there are no there are no verses in the Gospel <coughs> that point to a pre-tribulational action. And uh, the fact is, the church is not in the Gospels, and you're not going to find anything directed towards the church eschatologically uh, in the Gospels that deal with the pre-tribulation rapture. Nor is the rapture going to be partial. There's no one going to be left behind. The issue of the rapture is that the church, as a body of Christ, must be taken home before the, the uh, 70th week of Daniel. Uh, Daniel 70th week begins, which is for Israel, not the church. So there's nothing in there about... Uh, about uh, a rapture occurring uh, in, the, in the Gospels, and uh, it's certainly not going to be partial. Uh, what's going to happen is those are the second advent passages, and the separation of the sheep and the goats, and uh, the sheep will be left uh, on the earth to go in the millennium, and the, in the millennium kingdom, uh, the kingdom of heaven, those who uh, have endured to the end uh, will be saved. The salvation, not eternal salvation, it is uh, the uh, right to go into the millennium kingdom, and uh, uh, live in that millennium, and that's what uh, those passages are referring to, uh, not uh, not referring to a pre-tribulation rapture or eternal security or anything like that. But uh, the fact is, is that you're not going to find the church in the Gospels. It's not revealed in the Gospels. It is a, uh, a Pauline doctrine uh, that is found by Paul, uh, in Pauline doctrine epistles, and uh, it relates to Israel and uh, distinguishing Israel in the church. First Thessalonians 4 is really the only definitive area where we, we can say points to a, a, a time issue uh, and uh, uh, a pre-trib rapture. And uh, we are told to take comfort in these words. It, the whole point is not supposed to listen, wait for a rapture, look for a rapture, uh, and uh, be uh, uh, obsessed with the rapture. We're supposed to really understand that the, no matter what events we see going on around us, that the, uh, the tribulation period is not going to begin until we are gone first as a church. Uh, so it's very important to understand that uh, uh, you can't defend the true doctrine on on, bad, on using uh, long verses. And this, I see a problem going on here with this. Uh, the issue of a partial rapture happening, people you know looking for the rapture, uh, waiting for the rapture, listening for the rapture. Uh, we're never told, the church is never told that we're supposed to take comfort in the rapture. And uh, therefore, we just continue doing what the Lord wants us to do until uh, he, you know, he, he decides when, when the body is complete. The last Gentile enters into the body, uh, then the, the body will be taken home. That's his sovereign decision to do so. And uh, we're not to be concerned with it. We're supposed to just move on, continue doing what we're doing with the Lord, and continue uh, uh, doing his service. So it's very important to, to understand that uh, uh, the, the church is not supposed to we're supposed to be obsessed with the rapture, we even focus on the rapture. We're supposed to take comfort in the rapture. So the uh, rapture, is, the pre-tribulation of rapture is uh, not a, uh, a doctrine to uh, make an issue out of, per se, uh, to tell people, well, if you're not know, waiting for the rapture or, or listening for the rapture, or, uh, you know, you're going to be left behind. Um, you're left behind for one reason, you're not safe. You're not part of the church. That's the only reason you're going to be left behind. And uh, so... It's very important to recognize that uh, uh, these doctrines are crucial in, in, in coming all together, the pre-tribulation of rapture, dispensational issues, the, the difference between the church and Israel, uh, and understanding our, what our role uh, in the plan of God is, understanding that, that we're not Israel, we're not going to go through tribulation, uh, we're not going, it's not our period, the church is, is a break in that, that uh, the church is, is a body of Christ, that God that was not revealed in the Old Testament, all in the Gospels, and uh, God is going to take us home when he's ready to take us home. All of us, the entire church uh, who's left uh, on the earth will be taken home as a body and meet the Lord in the air, uh, and uh, then, uh, the, you know, then we have the seven years of tribulation, then the Lord will be turning to set up his kingdom. Uh, and that's the way it, it was meant, you know, that's the way it's going to happen. Now, there really aren't many direct verses that point to a pre-tribulation rapture, and that's why it's very difficult to defend. But we shouldn't be upset about that. There aren't many direct verses defending the Trinity or the hypostatic union, the two natures of Christ uh, being totally God and totally man, 
at the one at the same time, and uh, two natures with one person. Uh, those are inferences. We compare scripture to scripture and arrive at those doctrines by comparing scripture to scripture the, with the Trinity and the the, uh, the nature of Christ. Uh, and so those are things that uh, uh, are developed, and they're they're meat doctrines. They're doctrines that uh, you've got to work on, and develop, uh, and uh, by comparing scripture to scripture. It's not once unlike the gospel uh, scriptures. Internal security scriptures, which are more milk, uh, they are very easily uh, discerned, very easy to point out to them. They're made for uh, basically you know, to establish a Christian early on that he's saved and that uh, he's not going to lose his salvation. They start getting to the uh, doctrine of the Trinity and the doctrine of the hypostatic union and the doctrine of uh, the pre tribulation rapture, You're talking about getting more to uh, the new doctrines, dispensation issues, uh, separation of church and Israel. Those things take more study and more rightly dividing. And uh, comparing scripture to scripture, there's not you know, a single verse uh, on these particular doctrines. And, and, it's, and it's pre-tribulation rapture, we only have First uh, Thessalonians 4 that deals with that chapter, dealing with that, and um, uh, it's really just addressing those uh, people who are concerned about missing uh, the rapture and uh, so, uh, missing the mission of rapture and then uh, the, uh, the tribulation begin. So uh, uh, those the rapture, the pre-tribulation rapture is important. To understand our place in history, uh, what God, is, what is God is doing in history, that the church is not Israel, uh, that um, when God is ready, he, he's going to, excuse me, <clears throat> he's going to take the, the body of Christ home. So don't, um, you know, for, for fellow, fellow uh, pre-tribulational believers, don't get uh, bogged down. And looking for pre-trib rapture verses, don't get bogged down in uh, uh, can being concerned about the pre-trib rapture. <clears throat> it's really not a concern. Just believe it. Just understand where you are as a church, as a church member, body of Christ, and that you're not going to go through tribulation. It's meant for Israel. We're not Israel, and then move on. And we are not to watch for the uh, the rapture. We are not to listen to the rapture. We are not to be uh, over concerned about the rapture. We are to take comfort in the rapture. And that's the purpose of it, not to be uh, uh, making an issue of, uh, of uh, fear or, you know, uh, you know, if I'm not watching for it, I'm going to be left behind or whatever, which is nonsense. Uh, if you're a member of the church, you're saved, you're gone. It doesn't matter what you're watching, what you're doing, you, you know, uh, what your uh, spiritual state is at the point of, of your relationship with Christ, your walk. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You're gone. Uh, you're part of Christ's body, and uh, uh, he's going to take you. He's going to take you, and uh, because he's not leaving any part of his bride back on earth, uh, the marriage, marriage has to happen in, in, in heaven, <coughs> uh, and the whole body has to be there. And um, so the uh, pre-tribulation rapture is a source of comfort for Christians, uh, but it's not supposed to be a source of contention. Amen. Thank you.